to tell if you are living in a haunted home? Well, stay tuned because I have a story for you. Step into the valley with the Three Step Realty Group. I'm Katrina, and today we're gonna be talking about how to tell if you're living in a haunted home. But the way we're gonna do that is through a story of little Timmy, oh dear little Timmy. So let's get right into it. There once was a little boy named Little Timmy. Little Timmy and Little Timmy's mommy and Little Timmy's daddy just moved into their new home on the little old house on the corner. Little Timmy's mommy loved the fireplace and the cozy feel in the home and she couldn't wait to have their first holiday fire as soon as winter allowed. And little Timmy's daddy loved the backyard and loved the size of the garage because it had space for all of his tools and toys. But little Timmy was most excited about the park right down the street, which is where we find little Timmy right now, sitting in a circle with a bunch of little boys and girls, getting ready to start their game as he introduces himself. And little Susie says, well, little Timmy, didn't you just move into the house today on the corner, the little old house? And Timmy says, yes, we did, he says with a big grin and smile on his face. But my favorite thing of all is meeting all of you guys and making new friends. As little Timmy stops dead in his tracks, he notices all the little boys and girls' faces turn pale as if they'd just seen a ghost. And little Timmy says, well, what's the matter? Well, little boy Bobby says, well, didn't you know that old man Barley died in the little old house on the corner just a month ago? And then we saw the for sale sign up. Old man Barley was so mean and angry all the time and all he did was yell. He was very scary and nobody liked walking past his house. He liked to sit on the porch and yell at us. Little boy Timmy didn't give it much thought. He was more excited to make all these new little friends and play. So they played all afternoon. And when the sun went down, little Timmy went home, sat down and had dinner, and then got ready for bed. Little Timmy was in his bed in the little old house on the corner. He was all tucked in and cozy and had the blankets up to his shoulders. And then all of a sudden, little boy Timmy saw the lights flickering on and off, on and off in the hall under the light coming through the door. Hang, hang on, one second. So I recall you saying this was a little old home on the corner. So I'm going to assume that it's an older home. And is there a possibility that little boy Timmy's mommy and little boy Timmy's daddy didn't get an electrician to check some things out or get a home inspection? Maybe they might need to call an electrician to check some things out because they might have some faulty electrical happening with the flickering of the lights. Let me give you an example. So I have a, a little boy Eli at home who loves to play with light switches, flicking them on, off, on and off, on and off. He did it so much in the hall bathroom upstairs that the kids share that now the lights in that bathroom flicker sometimes won't come on, sometimes won't go off. So we have to get an electrician out there to check it out. So maybe just have the electrical checked out. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Okay, so little boy Timmy, heart starts beating a little faster and he pulls the blankets up to his chin as he starts to shiver and chatter. And then all of a sudden, little boy Timmy hears creak, creak, creak outside of his door. And, okay, oh, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, again, older home, creaking floorboards maybe. In older homes, they can sometimes settle, or if the floorboards are older, they can creak with or without somebody walking on them around them. You know what? 
even newer homes sometimes if they're how they're constructed if the floorboards are set just so could creak whether anybody's walking on them so eh, maybe again home inspector go under the home if there's a crawl space check it out make sure everything's all good well thank you very much for your addition to our story so where were we that's right little boy timmy has the blankets up to his nose and he's shimmering just so well he is quite afraid by now and all of a sudden he feels a cold surrounding him and little goosebumps standing up on his arms and he has heard once upon a time that if you're in a cold area of a home a spirit or ghost might be right there next to you. So little boy Timmy throws it over his head. Oh, I'm sorry, okay, okay. One more time, last time, promised. Again, old home, might be old windows that might be causing or allowing a draft to come through. Check it out. Again, home inspection would have revealed some of that. Maybe there's um, a draft somewhere in the home causing the feeling of a cold spot. Wait, 